Hey, 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 it's a great day in Casino Meisterland and it's Stammtisch with the Meister. In other words, just a short one to be chilling with the beer and to chit chat about, oh, a couple of things. First of all, the 2011 Casino Meister Awards have just been announced just a few hours ago. And yes, it's a <laughs> it was a lot of work. These awards cover everything from the best casinos to the worst and a number of categories that deal with the complexity of this industry. One award I would like to discuss briefly is the Biggest Disappointment of the Year Award. Uh, there were two awards, one for Betfair for letting <laughs> everyone down, including me personally, really. Uh, they're still on the road pit at Casino Meister and they really don't seem to really care about that. But that's another story. The other is the Gibraltar Regulatory Authority the GRA. Um, they believe there is such thing as bonus abuse. And I remember seeing something a couple months ago um, about this in our forum, but I never had a chance to really follow up on this. Uh, a member had played a bonus at Swiss Casino, uh, won, and his cash out was refused because he didn't play with the spirit of the bonus in mind. Uh, he contacted the GRA and they supported the casino's decision, you know, he didn't play with the spirit of the bonus in mind. Yeah. Um, the GRA states the following in their operator's guidelines. A bonus abuser is a player who is playing only to try and take advantage of or withdraw uh, the bonus and, in the opinion of the operator, has no apparent intention of becoming an ongoing customer. The operator has the right to terminate bonus abusers' accounts and may or may not refund deposits. That, my friends, is completely unacceptable. I'm not only dismayed, but I'm shocked that the GRA would even write such trash. These are rogue terms and conditions, right? Uh, this is something that early RTG uh, clip shot joints would try to pull, you know, back in the day, right? Uh, some of you may remember Crystal Palace. Well, Crystal Palace was thrown into the rogue pit back, I think, in 2003 for a confiscating advantage player deposits. I interviewed the CEO of NetTeller back then, actually at the ICE, uh, to ask him if it was okay for a casino to withhold deposits of Advantage players. He clearly stated no, that was not okay, and that any casino doing this would jeopardize their merchant account. Crystal Palace stopped confiscating deposits and these players were just booted from the casino instead. Yeah, sometimes with their winnings if they didn't break the rules. So I hope that next week at the ICE, I might bump into someone who can answer questions about this. Uh, next week, of course, I'll be in London for the ICE and the London Affiliate Conference. Um, if you are planning to be uh, at the LAC, right, uh, don't forget that I'm hosting a panel discussion concerning player needs on Friday at 14.15 with some really cool guest appearances from really cool people, right? Uh, but most importantly, we have the Meister meeting for forum members. If you are a forum member, you're invited. If you're not a forum member and will be in London on Tuesday the 24th, well, you need to join. Uh, we have free beer and food and all you can eat and drink from 5 to 8 in the evening at Waxy O'Connor's. And that's all I have. So, until we meet again, adios and be cool.